The worst of the snow through the early morning commute. Here's a look at 9 30, 10 o'clock. Most of our snow is starting to clear the area, and things become much easier as we head toward midday and into the afternoon. A few isolated snow showers. It is still going to be cold. We'll be in the upper 30s, wind chills in the mid to upper 20s. Into tonight, we've got the potential for some lake effect snow. I think most spots don't see a lot of action overnight. But those that do see some of these snow bands, we could have another coating to even an inch on the ground as we go throughout the morning. Tomorrow, things become very isolated on Thursday as the snow is wrapping up. We are back to the 40s into the day on Thursday. So let's talk about how much snow we already have, anywhere from a coating to up to an inch in some spots. Throughout the day today, an additional coating to an inch will be possible. Into this afternoon, I think a lot of that snow will start to melt away, so you may not see two inches on your lawn. And this afternoon, not expecting that snow to be sticking to the ground as well. A busy day. Snow will be likely becoming much more scattered as we head toward midday into this afternoon. It stays cold. We'll be in the upper 30s. Tonight, it turns very cold. We'll be back into the mid 20s, just the chance for a few snow showers. Tomorrow, a few isolated rain or snow showers. Highs will be in the 40s. Let's talk about some good news here. We are trending a bit warmer Friday and into the weekend. Late day showers on Saturday, just a few showers on Sunday. But take a look next week if you're kind of grumbling at me this morning. Monday Monday and Tuesday, we've got sunshine and we're back to the 60s and even 70s through the middle part of next week.